Welcome back to our Christmas Day service. We'll start with Lincoln Hartford Prelude. Come thou almighty King, help us thy name to sing, help us to praise Father all-glorious or all-victorious, come and reign over us, Ancient of Days. Come, thou incarnate Word, gird on thy mighty sword, our prayer attend. Come and thy people bless, and give the word success. Spirit of holiness, ain't on us descend. No, it wasn't. Christ is born. Christ is born indeed. Merry Christmas. The irrepressible joy Christ's birth be with you all and also with you. Let us continue our service.
O oh, sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have gotten him victory. The Lord has made known his victory. He has revealed his vindication in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his steadfast love and faithfulness to the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the victory of our God. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Break forth into joyous song and sing praises. Well, dear friends, uh, our sacred gospel reading today is from the uh, gospel according to Apostle John, chapter 1, verses 1 through 14. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God, and the word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome him. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was into the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the word did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us. And we have seen his glory, the glory of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. The word of our Lord. Thanks be to God. Dear friends, uh, I'll share with you a sermon uh, that's written by Barbara Brown Taylor. Uh, she titled it, From God's Daring Plan. Here is what she writes. In terms of his people, babies were the exception. While their parents were all but deaf to God's message, babies did not have any trouble hearing him at all. They were all the time laughing at God's jokes or crying with him when he cried. Babies did not go to war. They never made hate speeches or littered or refused to play with each other because they belonged to difficult political parties. They depended on people for everything. While no one asked their opinion about anything that mattered, almost everyone seems to love them and that gave God an idea. Why not create himself as one of these delightful creatures? He tried the idea out in his cabinet of angels. The senior angels spoke for them all. He told God how much they were worried about him if he did that. He would be putting himself at the mercy of his creatures, the angels said. People could do anything they wanted to him, and if he seriously meant to become one of them, there would be no escape for him if things turned sour. Could he at least be a baby with special powers? The baby idea was a stroke of genius, the angels said. It really was, but it lacked adequate safety features. How about that? God thanked the angel for his concern, but said no. He thought he would just be a regular baby. How else could he gain the trust of his creatures? How else he could persuade them he, that he knew their lives inside and out, unless he lived one like theirs? Well, there was a risk. OK, there was a high risk, but that was part of what he wanted his creatures to know that he was willing to risk everything to get close to them in hopes that they might love him again. 
it was a daring plan, but once the angels saw that God was that set on it, they broke up in applause. Not the uproar's kind, but the steady kind that goes on and on when you had to witness something, you know you will never see it again. When they were still clapping, God turned around and left the cabinet chamber, uh, shedding his robe. The angels watched at his midnight blue mantle fell to the floor so that all the stars collapsed in a heap. Where the robe fell, the floor melted and opened to reveal a brown pasture with a bunch of shepherds drinking wine out of a skin. It was hard to say who were more startled, startled, the angels or the shepherds. But as the shepherds looked up at them, the angels pushed their senior member to the edge of the hole. Looking down in a gentle voice, he said, do not be afraid or see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David, a savior who is the Messiah, the Lord. And away up the hill from the direction of town came the sound of a newborn baby's cry. Well, um, let's continue our service. In the next part of our service, we will do together the litany, litany of Christmas. So, um, just, oh, here we go. When we offer a glass of water to a thirsty person, let's say together, it is Christmas. When we cloth a naked person with a gown, gown of love, it is Christmas. When we wipe the tears from weeping eyes, it is Christmas. When the spirit of revenge dies in me, it is Christmas. When in my heart, I no longer want to stay apart, it is Christmas. When I am buried in the being of God, it is Christmas, dear friends. So let us hear the song that uh, John Lincoln Hartland will, Hartford will play for us. Angels we have heard on high Sweetly singing o'er the plains and the mountains in reply, echoing their joyous strains. of the Lord be always with you and also with you. Let us pray together. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We three kings of Orient are bearing gifts. 
gifts we traverse afar, field and fountain, moor and mountain, following yonder star. Oh, star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright. Westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. Dear friends, this is my favorite prayer, so bear with me and remember that life is short. And we do not have too much time to gladden the hearts of those who travel the way with us. So be swift to love and may haste to be kind. And may the blessing of the one who made us, who loves us and who journeys with us, be upon us and our loved ones forevermore. Amen. Merry Christmas, dear friends. And thank you uh, to Harriet Burkhalter and Lincoln Hartford for your participation in this service and Tim for making this possible. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain, that Jesus Christ is born. While shepherds kept their watching, or silent flocks by night, behold, throughout the heavens there shone a holy night. Go tell the mountain over 